Welcome to my shop. I'm here to give you a tour. Stay tuned and see what the Grand Alexander shop is all about. So it starts out with my ride. As you can see, I like BMWs. Uh, the blue one is actually a parts car and the silver one's my daily driver. Uh, it also tows the camper that you can see in the background. If you stick with this channel, you'll see in the future while I do renovations on that trailer. So now I'll take you into the garage. And you'll probably notice that this garage doubles as storage for random stuff like a snowblower, bike carrier, many other things. But it does double duty. So I'm going to start on the right hand side and uh, move my way around. First up you'll see I've got a foldable workbench. Uh, this bench is, uh, I made this uh, so that my wife can park the car in the winter and that uh, the bench just folds down and I'll show you that. And that workbench also doubles as the place where I do my miter saw, so anywhere I need to do anything that requires laying something out, as long as it doesn't get too big. Uh, in between and behind it, you'll see I just have random storage for random boards. And let's keep moving. So you'll see I have random fluid storage. And up above the garage door, I've got some wood storage. Right here I've got my mobile scroll saw stand. I'll tell you a little story about this scroll saw. My dad was going to throw it out and, uh, and I said, hey, maybe that motor is worth something. So I decided to grab it from him. And uh, I've used it in a couple videos, like building the penguin rattle. Uh, and I also use it in other videos. Now over here, there's more wood storage and some tool storage. Uh, I have up here a custom built clamp rack. Uh, all my clamps are actually downstairs right now because of the winter and not being able to glue outside. Over here, you'll see this is where my mutter saw stays. Uh, also, I have a bench grinder. I have random other tools like a grinder, uh, wrenches, etc., spare parts, circular saws, etc. Just a mismatch of crap all on the shelf. And then I have one of my favorite things, this toolbox. Mastercraft Maximum Toolbox with locking handles, so you have to push up. And on top is more random crap. Now up here you'll see I have a variety of solvents and cleaners. I've got the music station with some kicker six and a half inch speakers. Over here I've got more random storage. The fun thing about this is this little shelf is something, this little shelf here is something me and my dad built when I was a kid. Uh, and I've kept it for a long time. Uh, it's just something nice to have around to remind me uh, of the fun things me and my dad did when I was a kid. Now you can see this is uh, the workbench that I generally use. Uh, it's got a nice vise on it that I got for my birthday. And otherwise it's just a piece of plywood. And it's got uh, also a metal vise on this side and I store chargers back there. Now, underneath, got random car working stuff. I'll eventually find a new home for that stuff. I also have my air compressor. It's one of many because you can never have too many air compressors. Got more storage. Got some random towels. I've got scrap wood storage. I like to keep every little tiny bit of scrap.
have spare saw blades, my dado stack, got some rags, got some future projects that, you know, need to be one day put together, some nice wheels, more scrap wood storage, old brakes that might become a project one day, and I got the ladder to the abyss, which surprisingly has more crap in it. And then over here you'll see I have plywood storage, or sheet good storage, and then I have my tiny jointer. Uh, this was a gift from my dad. Uh, when I said I was getting into woodworking, he would have got me one of these jointers. Uh, it's a little tiny four inch one. Uh, it's good for a lot of small stuff. And one of my favorite tools in the workshop is this. So this right here is one of my favorite tools. This was my grandfather's. When he passed away, I got it handed down to me. It's probably one of the reasons I'm into woodworking as much as I am today. Uh, when I use this tool, it makes me think of them and you know have the fond memories. Uh, I think the table saw is probably one of the key pieces in a workshop, and you know something like this, an older Craftsman model, just is really nice to have. So continuing on, we we'll get over here. We have my Mastercraft drill press. This is another gift I got from my father. Uh, and underneath I have storage for drill bits and router bits and other stuff. Uh, yeah, and I have uh, more scrap wood storage up there. You know, always gotta have that scrap wood. And my last couple of tools I wanna show you. I've got one of the only new tools I have in, that I've ever bought uh, was this rigid planer. Now it's uh, it's just a little lunchbox planer, but it works pretty good. And last but not least, is it's going to take a little bit to pull it out. This is my router table. Now this router table is uh, actually my father's, and I have confiscated it from him. It works pretty good. It's again an old Sears Craftsman. And this router table is just a really basic one, but it works for my needs. So that's the uh, garage portion of the workshop. I also have uh, a couple spots downstairs that I'm going to show you. All right, so this is the first spot. Uh, it's just basically my furnace room. And as you can see, it's got uh, a basic workbench. And I've got a little bit of tool storage. Got some old trophies, and over here we have some clamps and more clamps because uh, this spot is where I do uh, glue ups in the winter when it's too cold outside for the glue. So, the uh, last spot that I like to do some work in is down here in my office. Uh, mainly, I use it for editing, but uh, I also sometimes when there's a really large object that I need to paint or stain, I like to use it in this room. Obviously, once it gets above freezing again, uh, I'll be doing it out in the garage, but just wanted to show you the last spot. I hope you enjoyed that little glimpse into my life and my shop. In the description, there's a little bit more detail on all the tools that I showed you around the shop, but if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I wanted to do this video for two reasons. One, I had some subscribers ask for it, and you know, gotta do what the subscribers want. Uh, and two, uh, I wanted to put a little bit of a marker in the sand to show what it's like today in 2019, and so that way I can look back and see how things evolve over time, see how I replace tools with potentially newer ones, potentially older ones, uh, and see how things go. So I hope you enjoyed that, and if you had a keen eye, you might have seen a couple of projects that are underway that'll be part of new videos in the future. Uh, so stay tuned, and hit that thumbs up button. Have a great day.